Welcome everybody. Today we'll be looking on simplifying algebraic expressions by adding and subtracting like terms. Before we dive into that, let us define some key terms. A variable is a letter or symbol used to represent an unknown value. A constant is a number without a variable. A coefficient is a number that multiplies by a variable and a term is a number, a variable or a combination of both and they are separated by an addition or subtraction sign. Here we have a algebraic expression 7x plus y minus 14. So we're going to identify the coefficient, the constants, terms and variables from this algebraic expression. So first thing that we're going to identify are the variables. So we said that variables are letters used to represent unknown quantities. So the x and the y in this case would be the variables. Let's now move to the coefficients. So the coefficient would be, we said that coefficient is the number multiplied by the variable. So the 7 would be an example of a coefficient coefficient for the y would be positive 1. So the coefficient is 7 and 1. Variables are x and y. And this 14 right here is a constant. So the definition for a term is a number, a variable, or a combination of a variable and a number. So each of these that are separated by an addition or a subtraction sign are called terms. And the entire thing is a algebraic expression. These are some key terms that we need to know when doing algebra. The like terms have the same variable and power. For terms we have, so we have like and unlike terms. Like terms have the same variable and power and they can also be constants. For example, if we have 3x and 4x, so these would be examples of like, because the variable for both terms are the same. Also, if we had um, 5w squared and 7w squared, both of these would be classified as the like terms because the variables are the same and the, the power, the exponents are also the same. So half and three, these would also be examples of like terms. Unlike terms are those that do not share the same variable and the power. For example, if we have 4x and we have 2x squared, even though the variables are x, we realize that the powers are different, constant and a variable. Now we can simplify like terms by adding or subtracting the coefficients of the terms. Let's look on a few examples. The first example, we have 9m minus 3 minus 12m plus m. The first thing that we're going to do is identify the like term. So we have 9m, we have this negative 12m, or you can say minus 12m, and we have this positive m. So those are the like terms. And we have a constant three. We're going to go ahead and group our like terms. So we'd have 9m minus 12m plus m. So we're going to write back over minus three. So we're going to simplify our like terms and we simplify the like terms by adding or subtracting the coefficient of the terms. So remember that when we see a variable without any coefficient, that the coefficient is either a positive or a negative um, one. So in this case, it would be a positive one. So it will be nine minus 12, negative three, negative three plus one gives us negative two. We write back the variable, which is M and we rewrite the unlike term, which is negative three. The second example we have 0.4x minus 0.2y plus 0.9x. The like terms, you realize that this has an x as the variable. This also has an x as the variable. And this, um, this would be an unlike term. 
So let's go ahead and group the like term. So we have 0 0.4x plus 0.9x. I would write back the minus 0.2y. So adding the coefficients, it would be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.9, which gives us 1.3. We write back our variable, which is x. And we just write back the unlike terms. Our third example, we have 3ab squared minus 4ab minus ab squared minus 2ab. So the like terms, we have the 3ab squared, positive 3ab squared. We have this negative 3ab squared. So those would be our like terms. But we also see that the negative 4ab and the negative 2ab are also like terms. Let's go ahead and work them out. So we group our like terms. So 3ab squared minus 1. So let's just put the coefficient 1 there. 1 ab squared minus 4ab minus 2ab. And all we're going to do is simplify the like terms. So we're going to subtract the coefficient. So 3 minus 1 gives us positive 2, we write back the variable and the power, so AB squared. For the second set of like terms, we are going to subtract the coefficient, so negative 4 minus 2 gives us a negative 6, and we write back the variables. Now the final example, we realize that all three terms are like terms, so we are going to go ahead and work out the coefficients we realize that we have fractions with different denominators. So we're just going to do the fractional working out at one side. So we have a one fifth plus three tenth minus four fifth. Now the highest common factor for the 10 and the five is 10. Five into 10 goes two times, two times one is two plus 10 into 10, one. 1 times 3 is 3, 5 into 10, 2 times, and 2 times 4 is 8. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, 5 minus 8 is equal to negative 3 over 10. The answer is equal to negative 3 over 10, and we write back the variable, which is 10.